Hello everyone, it's QuestQuenches here today, and I want to talk about Dragon's Dogma 2, uh, and specifically about the story. And I want to say that it it's an okay story, but it needs it does need some add-on to it. So I think when they eventually release some story DLC for it, I think they need to go back through the story and touch upon things uh, players didn't really like uh, think we're great. <laughs> so basically, we're gathering all this evidence for Brandt, and we never get the opportunity to present it in front of uh, the, the the court, the kingdom, the council. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, and we never get our time as a sovereign or anything. Um, Unless it's the end of the game, and it's not particularly the real end of the game, so we don't get it like uh, properly, in a way. So I think changing that would be great, and having the arisen face the false arisen in like a form of combat or something in the uh, in the the court. So my idea would be like. Um, so we collect all this stuff, and he says, before we send this to back Vital, he goes, yeah, I think we've got enough to take it down. Let's go and present it in front of the courts. And uh, you, you go to the, the main thing. Your pawn doesn't accompany you, because you've got to face... Um, uh, because of the god sway, that's currently at the, uh, you know, the place thing. So it, you kind of solo in this dude. So you, you present it, you, you know... Um, Brandt reveals all the stuff to the courts, and Disa is basically ruined. Um, and then the full sovereign is like, oh, but I command pawns and stuff like that. And, uh, and then they present the evidence about the god sway and how it, uh, is swaying pawns and stuff like that. And then Brandt sort of says, well, take off that thing, that's clearly, you know, <laughs> cheating, it's not the real arisen kind of thing. Or something like that. And then they have a battle, you know? They fight. Uh, well, not Brandt, uh, meaning you and the Sovereign get the fight. And, uh, you know, the bet depending on the outcome, uh, if you win, you, you know, you become Sovereign. If you lose, you get chucked out the gates, and then you basically have to go, like, to back Batal and do uh, that kind of quest kind of thing. So depending on that kind of thing, it uh, depends on the outcome. So if you become sovereign, it's like, well done, you're the sovereign and stuff. I'll, you know, I'll watch over this place for now. Um, and you head to back. So it doesn't really affect the story too much, but it just gives you that closure of the Mund before heading to back Because we didn't have that originally, which was quite annoying. Because it's like, you do all this work, and then you head to back Patel, and then the world ends. <laughs> if you know what I mean, the game kind of ends. Um, so yeah, having that little little bit extra, I think, would make players like, yeah, this is cool, so I'm technically the sovereign of this Vermund, of Fair Vermund, uh, but I'm just doing another mission because I'm in the Arisen, um, which I think will make the game feel better and more complete because you've just done all this work. At least the payoff has got to be you become the sovereign. So, yeah, you then, uh, you know, and then the extra add-on you know, DLC would be, like, what takes place after the game. And I think they might either... I th what I think they do is they won't affect the ending, because that will probably play into a Dragon's Dogma 3, won't it? I think they'll probably add, like, missions in, you know, in the interim and stuff like that. So, like, more stuff for the, uh, for the your Arisen to do whilst, you know, um... Uh, you know, still keeping the ending and stuff. But for me, I'd like to see the um, the ending, you know, once the new world emerges without the Pathfinder, without the Greater Will's influence and stuff, I would like to see uh, your Arisen and Horn emerge from the sea or something like that. And they, and then, you know, they add the mechanic of swimming. <laughs> this is, you know, this is out there. Uh, so you can swim. And and then, you know, the kind of, like, continue missions, continue 
uh, you know, as sovereign, and you've got to sort of make sure the lands and stuff are getting along. So you've got to, you know, maintain the, um, you know, the balance of, you know, Batal and Vermund, and you've got to make sure everything's all right so they don't go into war again. And you still have your, you know, your monsters and stuff because um, the dragon sort of resurrect, not resurrected, but like, you know, got them all uh, excited. <laughs> so you've got to, you know, take them out and stuff like that. As well as, you know, probably add, like I said in the, um, in my previous video, like bounty boards, add different weapons and armor, different rewards, different enemies. God, we need more monsters. Um, you know, add ones from the first game, such as like the cockatrice and stuff like that. Um, you know, I want to see the uh, what do you call the Hydra and all them stuff. I want to see all these amazing monsters that were in the previous game that just need to be bring uh, you know, brung over from Dark Arisen because uh, they that was a fantastic game, you know, and maybe incorporate the Dark Arisen story into the you know, Dragon's Dogma 2. And stuff like that. Get you know, if it is technically a remaster, it feels like a remaster just with all new stuff. And um, so yeah, I, for them, I would probably you know, in order to make it like a proper sequel, they do need to make something original. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this the whole rumor about this like dragon princess kind of thing, um, seemed sounded interesting, but uh, at the same time, they've. They've been very quiet. I haven't heard anything from um, Capcom regarding Dragon's Dogma, apart from like a two hour kind of like, you know, oh, you can get a demo for two hours, have a fun, uh, uh, and that's about it, really, rather than, you know, the actual DLC. So hopefully they do announce something soon. It's uh, It's very, it does feel like uh, it's been a little while since we got some new content. Um, and uh, yeah, so I want I want that kind of stuff. I want to become sovereign of a uh, um, Vermund for a little while, and then continue the story. Uh, I don't know if they'll do that. Um, but it definitely the story the story hopefully needs a little more work, need more character, need more sort of interesting story. Uh, I did make like I wanted to make a, a really long video. Uh, going into the story breakdown and stuff, but I thought, uh, this is just, uh, it's not a bad taste, but it's just, this is my version now, and it's going a bit too far from the original um, kind of thing, and I tried to world it back, but then it keeps going further and further because it needs it, because uh, the story is very bland, unfortunately, but it, it can, it just needs a, a few tweaks, and probably, like I said, uh, the conf confronting of Disa and the council, uh, the consul, you know, fixing that kind of thing and you becoming sovereign even, you know, in the middle of the game. <laughs> so you can, you know, still have that thing. And then at the end, you, uh, you know, you fully return after the defeating the dragon, uh, you fully return to being, you know, the, uh, the sovereign. Or you're going to the, you know, the Unmore world and you defeat the dragon and stuff. Uh, and then you emerge from the ocean or something like that uh, with your with you and your pawn and stuff. Because uh, if they're going to continue the game within this kind of world, these and they they need the they need an, an arisen and the pawn system, don't they? Because that's the major things. So they need to somehow be able to incorporate the pawns and the arisen into the cycle still. Maybe you play as the last arisen of like willpower and stuff like that. And um maybe it changes how um you know the arisen's power is passed on, not chosen by the dragon, but maybe through descendants of the arisen can command pawns. Uh and that's how you would continue like from arisen to arisen maybe through bloodline and the bloodline controls the will uh you know the pawns and stuff maybe um because without the dragon and the great cycle how would that stuff kind of work so it's just like uh, i don't know 
or maybe they just go, oh, parallel world again, dragons, you know. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's uh, kind of like tied it into a corner, unfortunately. So they need to write their way out of it. Um, so, yeah, that's that's all for me in this, uh, <laughs> this uh, prompt video. Um, it was, it was just a, some thoughts I thought about the DLC and um, the story expansion. Hopefully it does take us, you know, it, it, hopefully it does incorporate some old, you know, creatures that we've had before. And maybe, hopefully, you know, some new some new ones. I'd love to see some mounts. Maybe, like, we can tame a, um, what do you call it? Like a, a water steed or something like that. And uh, we can summon a steed that will uh, paddle us through the water, as well as on land. It's got a name, but I can't remember. But either way, yeah. Um, that's that's all my thoughts on what I want from DLC. So yeah, uh, let me know what you want in the comments. So you know, overall, it's just like story expansion, adding little parts that feel like they needed. Uh, of course, add monsters, add you know uh, armors and stuff like that. Uh, add some cool stories, and uh, uh, like post game and all that stuff, or mid, you know. Or just add it throughout the game, kind of thing. So, yeah, that's all from me. And uh, that's my ideas. And uh, let me know in the comments what you want. <laughs> right, I'll see you then. Goodbye.